Well, yeah, what's cool about uh, about the Sun Micro Inverters? Well, let me see if I can get catch this here. See that I just come up minus. Well, I got a whole bunch of uh, end phase inverters running right now, so they come up minus on that leg. On this leg, I got my uh, my outback charging, so this leg shows positive. Now I had to put this together when it was dark out, so that I could get the uh, make sure that I got the current sensors on the right way. So. Knowing that they are on the right way, I, I now know when uh, when I'm using power and when I'm not using power off the uh, end phase inverters. I get 40 end phase inverters out there, so I thought that was kind of cool. It would actually pick that up. Now I haven't. I've got these shut down because I'm trying to get my battery back to at least 39 volts before I charge some more but later later on when I get it charged and uh, we have a sunny day I'll uh, I'll just see how this works whether that drives up the minus farther or whether it won't even bother charging any because it's already too low that'd be interesting to see anyway thanks for watching well folks huh. we got some sunshine Man, it was a long go. I know, almost 10 days without sunshine. At least sunshine where you can make solar anyway. I uh, just love this idea here, you see. Now, I'm not making any. It says minus, and I got everything built built right. I got <laughs> my... Uh, I got enough sunshine that I'm making hydro for to run the house, plus I'm... Uh, Putting 1400 in the bank on that one and 800 in the bank on this one. So my 32 end phase, well actually 40 end phase uh, inverters are working fine today. And uh, these get a rest. Well, I'm making enough to uh, run the house and put some in the bank and then my batteries are getting charged because. I'm not using any from those grid tie inverters there, from the Sun Micro inverters. So uh, we're pumping some juice into the battery. She's a bit off there because it always is when it's charging hard. 42 amps, 34 amps, I don't know. Anyway, cool. Sunshine, it's a wonderful thing. So. The old bank is getting charged up. I don't know if we'll make it today or not. Because, of course, whenever the furnace comes on, so I have a geothermal furnace, it's got to run. You know, it takes 4,000 to run that there. It must have just come on. Because now I'm pulling 400 watts out of the batteries, 500 over here. I'm quite likely something come on. I don't know what. That thing works. Seems to run awesome. I'm gonna finish hooking it up. It's not. I'm still halfway through because I want to switch my charge controllers over to this side. One of them, anyway. Put it on this side and a new BMS on to, just for the just for these, just to run these, just so I don't deplete my battery too far. Well, I know they have a bottom. They have a. A shut off at 38 I think it is but I don't really trust those well, I'd rather get a BMS so I know the one cells not wacko anyway just thought I'd give a little wee update thanks bye for now